so much asante ni sana karibu tena kwa Brenda Kangai show and today is another beautiful day that the road has made for us and leo show tunakwanga kama kawaida tunakwanga watu wawili but today the media have decided to take control of the show ah uh, i have to say wacha ni kuuliza swali tu moja Brenda Kangai tumeweza kuona hapo last week uh, naibu rais Brigati Gashagwa akiwa akioshambulia vikali leaders kutoka Ritubale kwamba wawache kumuibisha rais William Samoei Arap Ruto kwa wale watu wanampigia kelele wale kimu nasema kwamba the hecklers kwa maoni yako kama mtembea anatoka Mount Kenya je ni sawa kumuona rigati gashago na ipo rais kuwa uh, kuongelesha watu kutoka Ritubale kusema mambo ambayo yanawahusu wao wenyewe ah uh, first of all uh, sita kujibu na Kiswahili my Kiswahili is not that fluent okay. so what i'm saying is um, the hustlers the mamamboga the mtu wa mkokoteni and the nini mtu wa pikipiki yes. their communication to the president is just echoing yeah. or passing a message through shouting so these people wamekuwa kifinyilwa for a very long time and uh, the only way they can communicate to the president to tell him that things are not right at the ground level is when the president goes in their place they can just take that chance to shout or the heck or what is disturbing them so for me first thing is that uh, the deputy president and the entire Kenya Kwanza government should understand is the mode of communication from the grassroots people they are communicating that everything is not okay at the ground level and another thing i want to tell the deputy president it is a sign to 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 tell the Kenya Kwanza government and administration that everything they are they promised monainchi monainchi has realized it was a lie so monainchi akona ghadhabu akona asira mingi sana na anapoaona ile asira inampanda because um a normal hustler who was buying sugar 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 nini sugar at uh, 280 2 kg that was about 240 kg today it is 450 that person who was buying that sugar at that time and this time and in the supermarket and wa ana shop sukari kilo 2 na 440 450 hakiona rais lazima alalamike lazima mwambie vitu aziko sawa gharama ya maisha umetupandishia na tuwezi kujikimu kimaisha so what i want to tell the kenya kwanza government is that they should take the voice of monaiti very serious try to rectify where things are not right so that the monaiti at the ground level can feel represented And another thing I want to say is that uh, the members of the parliament who are elected by the people of this country are the ballot paper to go and represent their will to go and speak on their behalf to go and represent that person who cannot afford a meal a day to go and represent that person who cannot afford to pay school fees for his children and then that person all of a sudden lacks and the children he, he takes loan takes the children to school they lack an employment they lack employment another thing these people are sleeping hungry they are languishing in poverty so the only thing they can do is communicate and say mr president things are not right because our members of the parliament are not working at the ground level and that's the reason why you see people in baringo they might not be speaking to the president him directly but they are speaking to the president to know that the members of the parliament the mcas the governor the senators that you gave us are not represent the people so the president should not take that information lightly should take it very seriously that the people might not even be having problem with the president but they might be having the president with the, the problem with the senator and they will communicate to the president the problem with the governor all the problem with the mcs and the members of parliament all the women representative so does it mean that uh, the leaders that were elected uh, in the kenya kwanza condition mm -hmm. because it reminds me of something that happened uh, in muranga county where uh, the member of the gatanga constituency that is on the head of muriu mm -hmm. uh, led the constituents to chase away the kiare officials does it mean that the leaders that are elected in the kenya kwanza condition they are not telling president kingdom somewhere around to the truth because they are against the current uh, finance act of 2023 that they themselves passed uh, in uh, June last year. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, totally the Kenya Kwanza MPs, the Kenya Kwanza senators, they have failed Kenyans, not only the people who elected them. 
Because we always say we got the ballot paper, you vote a leader that that you want, a leader of your choice. But the leader who ele who is elected by the majority automatically becomes the leader of every person. So when they fail the they fail the people that elected them, they are failing Kenyans. I always feel that an MP in Mandera represents the will of an, a person who is in Stare constituency because it's a combination of all those members of parliament to go in parliament and speak one language, the language of Wanjiko, the language of a common citizen, the language of Mamamboga, the Mutua Boda Boda, and the language of a person who cannot afford a meal. That is the work they should be doing. But what we see, there was an housing bill. It came, and uh, as Mio MPs, Try to oppose it. We even tried to cause to to ask for demonstration when we were demonstrating last year. But what was the Kenya Kwanza MPs and senators saying? They were saying we are disturbing the government. We are not giving the government time. So I feel that these people who are elected to represent their stomach, they are elected to serve a certain kingdom, not to serve the Mwanainchi. Because if you are serving Mwanainchi, you will speak the language of Mwanainchi. Honestly, I'm a I'm, I'm a youth politician from Nairobi, but I always feel that um, when I'm speaking, I should not speak uh, about the people who live in Karen, who live in Kilelesh, or Lavington, or Kilimani. Let me speak the language of that person who is in Madari, who is in Kibra, who is in Mkuru. That person who cannot afford 300 shillings a day, that is the person that I should be speaking his language or la language, because that is the person who faces the day-to-day -day challenges in this country. So what I'm saying is that uh, the Kenya Kwanza MPs, the senators, and everybody who has chosen, including the president and the deputy president, have killed Kenyans entirely. One, Kenyans, most of the Kenyans, uh, earn below 500 shillings a day. If you're earning 500 shillings a day with the current state of economy, you can't afford a basic need, uh, basic needs, and you can't even afford to save anything. For instance, let's take 500 shillings. You are paying a house at 3,000. You are left with, uh, if you are getting 500 shillings a day, it means you are getting a salary of 12,000 a month. You remove your 3,000 rent, that is a person, I'm speaking now, the language of a person who is in Madari or Kibra. Uh, you get, uh, you remain with uh, 9,000. Today, you cannot eat three meals without a thousand more. So it tells you, in a month that that person does not get lunch or breakfast, the only meal they get is dinner or, or, or let, let, let's call it supper. So what does that tell you? It tells you that the majority of Kenyans are not represented by their members of parliament. Because if an MP walks in a supermarket and finds sugar price at 450 and they continue going in parliament and pass the bill and, and encourage the president to pressure those bills that the that the pinch is only felt by the common Mwanainchi. It means now the members of parliament are not speaking the language of Mwanainchi. And that is what I'm saying. I am telling our MPs, you have failed Kenyans. That is Kenya Kwanza. Because the Azimio MPs have tried their best. If you look at our senators in, in, in Senate, the best senators that speak the will of Mwanainchi, the only senators from Azimio, look at uh, Sifuna. Sifuna is always on the side of Mwanaichi. But look at the letters from uh, Kenya Kwanza government. They always worship what the president says. So it's their master. If their master tells us them this is right, they don't have an uh, alternative to tell him no. They go with what the, their king tells them. Okay. Yes. So uh, based on whatever you have said, does it mean that the Kenya Kwanza MPs and senators they are following an order from someone, and who is this? Person? Yes, they are following an order from their president. It was very clear when uh, we were trying to oppose the finance bill, uh, 2023. Yeah. Uh, the president said, Namuende Mpitiche, I've given you only one week to go and pass the, those bills. That was the president giving directive to the members of parliament. The president has reduced the constitution of this country to his own property. What is there? The constitution of Kenya governs each and every citizen. It doesn't matter you come from Trukana or, or Manakwet or even the Sukhoi, where the president comes, but that constitution covers every person. What the president would have done, would have told the members of parliament, 
this is the finance bill, this is what I feel as the president I need, go discuss with the common Mwanaichi, go discuss with Wanjiko, then give me the report of Wanjiko. But because the president, we have a president who always do his will, not the will of the people. So he decided, now because these people will, they are the people with authority to pass it or oppose it, what I will do, I will instill fear, I will threaten them, I will tell them go and pass. So, President Akisimama awambie, na nyinyi wabunge, nimewambia, hiyo kitu mimi nataka ipitishwe, nataka kuona ni mbunge mgani hata pitisha, what does that president say? Another day the president said, mambo ni matatu. If you, if you reject what I'm saying, either upande mbinguni, uende jela, ama utoke inji, 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 inji. What does the president say when he says those three words? He says that I am using an intimidating force to ensure that you will do whatever I want as the president. But what I'm telling the president is that know that the, the people of Kenya who elected you, they elected you knowing that you will respect the constitution and you will do things according to their will not according to you. What the president is doing, I'm not saying it's bad. Because maybe, in the knowledge of the president, maybe he thought now, by imposing so many taxes to Kenyans, will bring benefit. But he would have sent his MPs and tell them, go and discuss with Wanjiko, go and talk to Mama Mboka, go and talk to Mtu Abukokoteni, listen their views, come and tell me what these, these people need. When the president gets the message from Mwanaichi, now he can do according to what Mwanaichi what? Wants. Yeah.